Thank you very much, Kelly. Welcome back to the commentary desk for what could be your final time today. Cloud9 looking very good against the Cognitive Gaming squad. We already had one upset today in North America. Enemy defeats and eliminates Team Solo mid. But this time around, I don't know if that's going to happen. So I just saw Hindu Man. Okay. He's one of the casters here. Yeah, 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 the yeah, British guy. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah, exactly. Got it. And he said, you ready for more? I'm like, what do you mean? There's no way. Like, they have to go back to fundamentals. And he goes, just wait. That's all I got. Oh, so like he was he was out there chilling with Cog when they were like, all right, here's the deal. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So we're gonna play chalk mid. Hey, yeah, come on, Tom. come on, it's real. That's it's not real. It's real. Come on, <laughs> only stone. you and only F dot actually, not even you. He was actually trying to play chalk solo, and then I'm like, dude, trade. We have to see if the Xbox trade works. He goes, oh, okay, and I took his chalk mid. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, is that how that happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how you found out you like to play Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Salem killed Purified, and that was the end of Purified's career. Yeah, I hope he retires. <laughs> yeah. Cognitive Gaming, it's first pick. Once again, they've been first pick all three games, yes? No? I think the lower seed has to take first pick every game, right? No. I mean, prove me. Prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> game, well, game game one, uh, top side, top seed chooses, and then it's loser pick. You know, you say that, but the bottom seed has taken first pick every time. You're right. It's probably just bottom seed. You're right. I know. Aries, gone. I can't believe it, Bart. No scary Aries for uh, Aurora. Roar. <laughs> Sirket definitely not getting ran back. Yeah, no Sirket, no hell. So we got standard bands with a Kepri. Are you well, ready? Well, uh, well, we got standard. Look, we got two look, 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 at best. Sirket. look at Best. He's already smiling. He's, He's kecking. Like, we're, they're kecking about something, Bart. Oh, no. What's it going to be? He's like, it's going to be new while this game for him. Nope. Okay, Zeus. Zeus. And he's, he's liking it. No, he's just like, yeah, Zeus, I love it. Also, a coach in the background there. It's Dr. Ulo, right? <laughs> no. That is Skeledon. Skeledon. Yeah, Skilano, did you see that gif of him uh, benching Barracuda yesterday, or uh, curling him? You know what's funny is you see all these players in ranked, and you just assume they're these little kids. Yeah. Right, always. And Skilodon, he's like, I'm Skilodon. And he shook yeah, my hand, my, broke on my bones. I have a cast on. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great looking cast. Thanks. Invisible. So on Thor. Uh, Mercury Bologna. Oh, hey, Thor. Right. We forgot about Thor. Yeah. And we also forgot that Anitzer is uh, one of the best Thor players on Earth. Just one of the best players on Earth. Oh, yeah. Now with one of the best gods. Yeah. But Mercury Bologna can pick it from Cognitive, so once again, uh, remember, there was a Mercury band in this set. Was that this set? I can't remember. They all run together now. Was that last set? Yes. That but was I this think set, right? They banned it away from Cloud Nine. That right? Cloud Nine. Yeah, it was banned by. No, it was Cog not, Co Cloud Nine banned it from Cog as the third pick in Game Two. Are you he, sure? No, I think I'm it was not the sure. other way around. I, I, maybe it was. I just remember the analyst talking about Barracuda getting ganked at level at four minutes in his lane from behind Tier One, but I think they were just it's just Kevin being dumb. That's fair. You know. Um, um, and they get a genre again. Xing Chen getting banned. Ho Yi banned out. By the way, we should probably talk about the fact that Cognitive has drafted three characters that rely uh, at least somewhat on auto attacks. Yes. Which could wind up hurting them. Things like Enfeebling Curse becoming more valuable. Runic Shields. Or just, just straight up attack speed slows. Right? I think it's still stick the soul in the solo lane and grab a Neath and just laugh. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'd watch. Soul lane soul. I'd watch. It's funny, because like when you go into casual games, you're straight, like, you know, everyone's like calling their position, you're straight soul. <laughs> <laughs> like auto lock. Like okay, yeah, he's probably going solo. Oh, the Beck. So Beck. First time we're gonna see Beck. Now this. You know, I'm a little sad that uh, the TSM didn't make it like deeper in the tournament, so I can say Beck and Beck. Beck and Beck. Because I like. Beckham yeah, Beckham. we didn't see much solo Beck, uh, and there is some potential here for that to be picked. Uh, we've seen Basket played a few times. Uh, I like this for support. All right, there is way too many auto attackers on this team. Yo. Wow. Well, wow, they're going late. Is an auto attack, right? Well, they want to go late, and they have drafted late game lineup. Oh, and this is what Cognitive is going to be taking to the battlefield. With their uh, their this elimination on the line. Hmm? This doesn't seem cheesy to me. I don't know. Hindu, Hindu Man was alluding to something crazy. Mercury's good. Yeah, I, I guess it was the Mercury pick. By the way, I think one of the reasons we're not seeing Mercury so much is because people are playing him like an assassin. And I think right now the most beneficial way to play him, and I think this is kind of suited to DJ Pernicus's playstyle, is a little bit more tankiness. Items like Stone of Gaia and Frostbound Hammer are extremely no. valuable. No. And it's impossible to kill him. You can't peel him because he's faster than you. I'm looking at the Hu Yi ban here. I wonder if there's a Mercury Hu Yi strat or something like that. Because like right as the Mercury came out, it was like a ban on Hu Yi. Well, Hu Yi was just open and he's the best hunter. Well, but he hasn't been banned in any other game or picked. That's true. I guess Neaths were... and Souls. I mean, it's not, and it's not like Hu Yi has a particularly good matchup versus Soul. In fact, it's a pretty bad matchup versus Soul. Yeah. Right? Like, so. Well, I don't know. I mean, he could follow up pretty well. Like, her first three is down. Right, he can just drop her in the suns, and I mean, I guess that she's made out of fire. She still takes damage from that. Yeah, that's true. In fact, it's, it's stab, okay. right? Same attack. It's okay at best, right? I mean, it's a 50-50 matchup, probably best, right? Like so. No, best is a yeah, mid laner. Best is a mid laner. That's right. Damn, I knew it too. <laughs> I keep on messing that up. 
Uh, game three, Bart. Anister? Not buying items. Oh my god, you said Anister, and I wasn't looking at the screen yet, and I looked down and saw Zeus, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, Jungle Zeus? Is this wait, it? how did he get on the other team? <laughs> Andy's gonna be tasked with an early ward here for his team. Wow, actually, Bart, that would have been some cheese. If Andy wound up on COG, <laughs> that would have been crazy. That's a cheese strat right there. Hey, what if we just took the best player? <laughs> like, you think Andy's the best player on Cloud9? What? As I say it, I'm gonna ask you whether or not you think it's the case. What? Anister, best player, Cloud9? Um, Anister, best player in North America? I still like Stealth. Yeah? I like Stealth. I don't know about all that. Stealth won Worlds. I like I like my man, Andy. Yeah, but Stealth Andy won. won. Actually, Andy won Worlds, because no, he picked up the hammer. And the first person to pick up That's the hammer true. wins the race. Yeah, he has all the power for the next year. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Stealth won Worlds. All right, so... <laughs> 10 seconds till minion spawns. Camp's in about 20. Well, you know, um, that's why Zapman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there goes I couldn't chat. even get into the whole thing. There <laughs> goes chat. Uh, hey, guys. <laughs> Try to battle it out a little bit. 0-2, uh, as you can see at the top of your screen. Cognitive Gaming needs a three-game streak against the current world champions. And uh, probably the, uh, the one of the better teams in the back half of that SPL split three. Cloud9 yeah. was, well... Playing 4v5 for a few matches there in the early half of the split. Before a few they, indeed. Before they got their, uh, you know, VPNs and protections all online. But, uh, yeah, I mean, in that last half, they played really, really well. Not only uh, a pretty decent showing at the Cognitive Invitational, where they got a lot of, uh, I want to say, confidence in, in Baskin. You know, they were able to, uh, oh, yeah, missing the chain lining, unfortunately, from Best. Yeah, he tried to get that bounce. Although, even if he hit that bounce, it was only actually going to hit one time. It was actually a better idea for him just to try to throw it itself. It yeah, would have been the same damage. damage yeah. Well, left side camps are going to go to the side of Cloud9, right side to Cognitive, and once again, Cognitive is your blue team, Cloud9 your red team, which is very confusing considering that they're blue and red. I uh, see Pernicus has uh, Sprint right out of the gate. Yeah, there's there's definitely... You know, it would be a Cognitive lineup with at least a little bit of jank, right? And that Sprint 1, I mean, it's, it's unconventional is really what it I mean by jank. It increases his really damage, janky. Bart. Huh? It increases his damage. Oh, by like four. <laughs> being a hater right now. That's such a weird passive to me. I think it's been buffed recently. Yeah. Actually, I can't remember if it was or was not buffed. It was in the it was in like the preliminary patch, so I'm not sure it's shipped. Right, and it was like super, super strong. But like, yeah, like right, it's just like that speed buff is giving him like three, four days. It's just like so ludicrous how low it is. And even your passive, right, charging up over time, oh, all your moves. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Oh, wow, they're being completely done. <laughs> oh, this is hard to watch. Oh jeez. What do you I mean, what do you do? When I mean, Pain you see Chibulanke just died. at minute one and a half in that uh have an auto attacked in forever crouch. Oh. Small victory there as one of the archers aims to Jeff. That should work them back in. You see uh, actually they start losing the creep wave. So Kabam's gonna lose three. Not the end of the world. Hey, a roar. Taking a bunch of damage. Your tail whippers. That was why they were sitting back in their tier one instead of fighting. Jeff Henlow took that one just as soon as it came up. They went right for it. Look at Barracuda down there in the bottom right, looking placid. Kabam, a little concerned. Maybe even frustrated. Maybe saying, like, Pernicus, please. Take a trip. You got speed buff, your Mercury is super fast. You got sprint. You got sprint, use it. Get over here. Yeah, but Mercury really doesn't want to get involved until he's, I mean, this is like the most, like, obvious statement ever about a jungler, but he doesn't really want to get involved until he's his ultimate ready. Yeah, I mean, especially as Mercury, who, like, if you commit, you are in there. Forever. Yeah, you have a choice, yeah. And uh, also, you should note that he did take a level of maximum velocity instead of going into the level 3 major look. Mm -hmm. That's a 2% movement speed increase. It's unlikely we're going to see too much, like, actual use. I mean, he actually, he'll actually use it, but I don't know how much he'll actually gain out of it. Well, he's not going to use it to, like, improve his jungle clear time. He's, he's only going to use it in the advent of a, uh, of a gank or an attempt on his life where he's going to try to just kind of skirt away. It's going to be the Mjolnir's Attunement build-up. I'm sorry, it's going to be the, the Berserker's Barrage build-up for Andenster. Which is the opposite. Yeah, which is not the build. Um, and yeah, shout-out to Thor for being one of the uh, the few gods in Smite that actually has like legitimate differences in his first five levels. Yeah, I mean, he can go in, in a few directions. Big difference there between the, the spin-to-win build-up and the uh, big burst damage. Support Thor can level the wall. Can you? No. You still level not. Mjolnir, right? Yeah, yeah like... <laughs> but yeah, that Mjolnir's Attunement build has fallen off in a big way. Which is crazy, because nothing has changed. Yeah. People want the more confirmable damage. Mm -hmm. With Mjolnir's, you're rolling dice. And you need a, you need a level 2 wall to like guarantee it. Yeah. Right, so true. it takes an extra level. What? Pecky says... Pecky's is saying 30 physical power to sprint one? No way! Yeah, right, Pecky. Show, show your work. Oh, that's big! He hits three, but I don't know how much follow-up they're going to have here. Kabam taking a lot of damage in the backline. Pernicus as well. And then here comes Andy. 
Yeah, the damage coming up, but there's not going to be any kills just yet. No first blood on the table, even with all of those ultimates. The ultimate storms happen. Uh, but yeah, no, so uh, so 30 damage out of that sprint one on activation. For real? I mean, I know we got, he got buff, but so we got 30? It. Someone did the math. I mean, that's a full item, right? That's 30 yeah. damage is about as much as you get. An execution. Like, so Athena ultimate coming out, but away will go the Thor, and maybe reaching a little bit here is Cog, and they're going to try to make the best out of it with a purple buff steel. And uh, yeah, that, that's going to be successful. They're going to be happy with that trade, in fact. Huh? That's got me tilted. Yeah, you can. Could it really be level one sprint? Could it be 30 damage? I mean, because then you get boots online and you're, you have 70 damage out of the jungle. Well, let's take a look at the minutes. sprint here. Can you show us the tooltip for sprint? It's a 30% 30% increase. bonus movement speed, right? Okay. Well, I yeah, 33.75 bonus damage out of that 375 base movement speed plus 30% and 30% of that going to Someone go ask Pernicus to use it. Your uh we'll keep an eye on this. To your damage cuz you're passive. <laughs> that's a uh, that there it is. All right, so uh, speed buff gets taken. So when you get the speed buff, that's like 75, 80 damage, right? I, I, thousands, as far as I, <laughs> I understand it now. I was saying four, and it's 30, so. Yeah. <laughs> 50,000 maybe from the speed buff? It's got to be. And you thought a jungler didn't want to lose it before. Yeah. Creepers. Okay. Hey, that's very cost efficient. You can't get the 30 damage will cost you about 2,500 gold. In no. Spite. Yeah. 30, 30 damage, I think, is equivalent to about 15. No, I mean, they and I know it's 30 damage on it. What? Not many items have more than 20 damage. 30 damage at Executioner. 30 power. 30 power, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 2250. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But Executioner is also like broken. Attack speed in LOA. Well, hey, yeah. yeah. Listen, I'm not trying to <laughs> create a social okay. commentary. With the exception of Spear items. the Magus and Executioner and Jotun's Wrath, like the three most broken hey, items on. in the game. Hey, come on. You leave that item that I don't even build anymore alone. Jotun's? Yeah. You don't like Jotun's? Yeah, mail of Renewal. Just, you should rush it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> just rush. Unless like you're a Hunbots and then Flat yay. pen, boys. <laughs> what? Flat pen. 11. Uh, you say that like that's not much. It's not that that's much. A ton. It's the cap is like thirty. The cap is fifty. Fifty. Yeah, it's fifty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's fifty. It's definitely fifty. <laughs> but like still, right? I mean, that well, that's the old Thanatos. Thanatos gets thirty-five from his two. Yeah, yeah. But still, right? I mean, like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if I think the male Renewal is better than Yotes in all situations. Male Renewal is better than everything. Except for like Boikos. Nothing's better than Boikos. Chip off. Oh, did he get the dash? He got the dash. He did, yeah. yeah. Jeff and LaForce to go into the ultimate immediately. Whoa, took a lot of damage. They don't commit. They got him. That was the sprint. That was it right there. And he got the crit. And now he's going to ult through. Pern. Stealth's in trouble here. I don't think he's got the damage for this. Detonate. Oh, yes. In comes a Thor. But down will go. Kabam's in trouble, too. He got walked Kabam's down by down. Mera. They're going to move forward. Anisir. It's oh, uh, just hurts. off the mark there. Well, really, like, way off. Be honest. He tried to like lock him against the wall, yeah. but the the mark was a little bit too far to the right, and as I mean, a result, even if he gets that lock through. in, it's kind of like they don't really have a great path to go and, and like fight after that. Wow! Someone getting turned up. Oh, it's oh. Meerkat. Whoa! Found Andy. What are you doing over here? You're not. That's not the solo lane. <laughs> Silly. Get goose. back there. <laughs> go back to your hole. He doesn't have teleport up for 73. It's going to be a long walk back. Where's that, basket? That Mercury sprint crit with like hidden dagger was insane. Yeah. Yeah. That was like 200 damage. Wow, yeah. And that was on Sobek. It was also like a 7% chance or whatever. So I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's 7% chance to crit on, on Luck right there, but dagger. hey. That's R the name of the game, Sometimes RNG. you gotta roll the dice. Yeah, sometimes you gotta roll the dice. That's right. Uh, cognitive up 3-2 to two right now. Slight gold lead. Let's take a look at the experience as we go to the grabs here. And close. Dead even, yeah. Wow. Very close. Even with Cog playing like the significantly more flashy game, these initiations, I mean, all over the map is Pern. Love to see him playing another hyper carry outside of that Ratatasker. I mean, I think everyone was expecting Ratatasker, but I don't see Ratatasker Dude, being I just love really as effective maybe as this Mercury here. I love Ratatasker. Still? Yes. By the way, have you heard Ragnatasker's defend middle lane? No. It is my favorite thing in the video game. Yeah? Yes. That's it? I encourage you to listen. I can't spoil it. It's just not worth it. Okay. You got to go back and just spam it for 40 minutes like I did yesterday. <laughs> you just sat in the, in the well not and spammed it? Not even an exaggeration. In, in your practice game? Nope. I was in, in a real game. In a real everybody game. mad. You just macro it now? I was actually on comms. <laughs> they were like, Brandon, <laughs> shut up, please. Yeah. Like, I'm going to mute you. I'm like, I'm surprised you haven't. There's this game <laughs> where you, when you press, oh, hold on. Let's, let's, we'll, hold, we'll hold that anecdote until a little bit later here. Oh, Pernicus. Pernicus is going to spin yeah, there to try that. to stop Andy. Andy taking a ton of damage from the enhance. Not enough just yet. In comes the Athena. Out just in time is Andy. Ultimately being channeled by Pern, but Andy goes back under tower here. Oh, Vera is not Barracuda a good spot here. Feeling aggressive. 
I guess they didn't realize how far away the rest of the team was. Uh, now they definitely do, uh, as they... No, they don't reset. Jeff Himla gonna go for the steal here, but he's not gonna get it through the shield wall. And nice Remember positioning Remember when he did steal one with his charge spray, though? Remember that? Like, <laughs> yes. two weeks ago? I think we yeah. casted that game. That was great. It wasn't even two weeks ago. That was, like, yesterday. I think it was Xbox. <laughs> was it Xbox? I think it might have I think it was Xbox. You want Jeff Hinla at all. Well, oh, Jeff Hinla still. Someone recently did that. That was an game. Xbox play. Yeah, it was Xbox, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it Jelly? Probably. Yeah. It's usually Jelly. It wasn't Gilly. No, nah, it was not Gilly. <laughs> Meerkat alone in the mid lane, uh, just farming up. Solo lane, I think all the experience is dying as both solo laners start to rotate a bit more. We got a Gold Fury attempt here, it seems. Uh, Pernicus walking on a ward though. Barracuda low on mana. He knows that they're doing this, but he doesn't have a full commitment here. Well, pulling it nonetheless. His Kanye, there's a Zeus ultimate commitment right. as well. Uh, a snipe to come out from Barracuda, not going to be enough, and it will go to the side of Cognitive Pern very low, however, and, uh, on the back of that. Stop moving forward, Barracuda. You have no mana. I was looking at Andy there. I thought he was going to try to go for it, but he actually doesn't have his ultimate available. Yeah, well, uh, he had to use it to uh, get out of that last fight. I forgot. It's really Shing early. out, as they say. Jotans. Speaking of Shing, you know what I heard? Shing is currently playing PC ranked masters on an Xbox controller. To get better. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. dedication. Yeah. Holy crap. That's some karate kid. I would not do that. It's like the equivalent of standing on a post, you know. Shing, why are you missing all of your abilities, said stands. people in 2012, right? So now. <laughs> hey, Shing, I'm kidding. Ooh, Meerkat. Okay, they really want to make something happen here with this Athena. And it's Dirt. He's still going to make it out in time. And he can re-engage now at about half HP if there is the follow-up from his team. Where's Doesn't Andy? look like they're going to be there in time, so he's going to have to move out of this fight for now. Back to the mid-tier two he goes, and back towards their towers go Cognitive. It's also one of the first times we've seen an Athena so uh, in this matchup. It was a red buff Athena nonetheless. Let's talk about the uh, the nah. next item for Mercury here. Okay, fine. So he got some damage, right, from mm -hmm. Golden Bow. Um, now does he go penetration? Does he go oh, crit? What's the next or does item? he go defense? <sighs> right, I like Frostbound Hammer, but it looks like he's playing true assassin here. Yeah. So I think some some kind of pen or he might even go right to rage. I don't think a rage, I think it's gonna be I don't know, I'm trying I'm trying to like start this one out of my head. It's, what it's I'm really getting is I think he wants, he wants power. Like he wants just raw, some raw power to back up this Golden Bow now. He could go it attack. Could still, it could be a Yoten still. Or it could be that mail over duel. Always down. But I think I think it's probably Yotens, I want to say. I mean, it kind of depends on what they want to do here. You know, like, he's been, he's been like, the primary initiator in these fights, in, in which case cooldown reduction synergizes really well with that. Who, Weaken? <laughs> How much damage is he done? <laughs> That would have been that would have been awesome. If, I mean, if it was just how much there. damage did he do with that one hit on Jeff Hinlow? A fat six six seven. <laughs> yeah. There goes the chat again. Yep. That was cute. Camera tours. Man, twelve minutes though. This has been much less action packed than their previous games. Uh, Cog playing much more defensively, realizing their world strip was on the line here. Yeah, and, and this is a little bit of a different one, right? Like uh, Cloud Nine in the last few games. Oh, ooh, oh ooh. Andy, please. And then he just. Laughs at the ultimate there, best. They're gonna have the Athena ultimate. It's not gonna be in time, and they don't care about that Zeus ultimate. Dude, stealth didn't oh, even take goes damage. Andy. Andy, down goes Andy. That's the fourth ultimate in a row he's used defensively, but hey, it's working. Stealth basically healed in that engagement. Oh, oh wow, they're going real hard. That's a big agent. And an amazing wall from Anister to zone them out. They're not gonna be able to secure this kill. Meerkat's gonna get zoned by Jeff Hinla and Inster. That that wall, that was something else, man. What that was player. something else. It not only blocks off the path, but it also ensures that MLC has a brand new escape route, and then Jeff Hinla is able to cover the option in, tail whipping out the bludgeon. Beautiful play from all ends of Cloud9. Also, I mean, Perrin has just got to be real upset about that. That's going to that's gonna tilt. Yeah, I mean, that's like that guaranteed great kill. Ult. Instead, you're stuck on our tower nearly dead. Uh-oh. Oh, that's um, an angle. Speaking oh. of tilt. One more. Sickle. Sickle. No, just Here it comes. It Missed it. Beads. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, got him. Should have been a special delivery over Made You Look, but I think he used it to try to get out. So he tried to Made You Look. Made You Look a little bit deceptive there. It does look like your hit cylinder is removed when you're in the ability, but it is not. It is definitely not. <laughs> and down he goes to the in hand. Three to four. Uh, Cloud Nine finding a way uh, to keep this one relevant, but yet they're still behind thanks to that Gold Fury. And that's one thing I think nobody has done as well as Cognitive, uh, at least today. And that's... Bye, Hog. Obje <laughs> objective play has been amazing. 
Andy looking for that in hand just to make it a little more worth. But. By the way, I love that. He he looks for the auto attack cancel, and if he doesn't get it, he knows there's nowhere going to be enough damage in that engagement. Athena also being Wait, channeled why? somewhere. I hear it. Oh, it's over here on the right side. We're basking. He's getting dove by Aurora plus Meerkat, and that will be good for a kill. But here comes the back, and here comes the Thor as well. Meerkat ultimately it. was used. So I can do a ton of damage. Tail whip card, and down will go the Meerkat in return kill for Cloud Nine. That winds up being pretty worth oh, totally for worth. Cloud9. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, Cloud9, you think? Yeah, I mean, Meerkat's a level behind. Yeah. But it's not like Baskin had anything. In fact, he was 1-0 versus the 2-0 two, two Bologna. So she's worth a bit more on top of the fact that since her, the lower level makes shorter respawn timers, she died later on. I'm already bored of what you Come on. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right, though. Yeah, Kalana ekes out a little bit ahead there in the experience game. Um, a couple other things to note here. In the last few games, Cloud9 has had the distinct late game advantage over Cognitive Gaming and that slow pace. Letting Cognitive kind of bend but not break them had worked out pretty well for Cloud9. This time, though, Cognitive handily has that late game, so a little more pressure on Cloud9 to make something happen around that 25 to 30 minute mark. This. As well is that, once again, it's Barracuda, a level and a half, almost two levels ahead. Two levels on the board, but not quite that much. Over to Bomb. Let's Yet see again, it's going to be a Gold Fury. MLC is going to make the play here. No. He's got to realize that he doesn't even have a shot. Oh, he's going to ult. Cognitive takes it for free. He's doing decent damage, though. You see Kabam very low. One more ghost will tag I, him. I don't know about keeping go for but no, here's Andy. Andy's going to wall off Jonger, though. Turns and now Jonger gets done by oh, Meerkat Andy's now. Maybe spot. a little bit too deep, although it's a very low cognitive gaming. They're going to have a hard time re-engaging here as Cloud9 just has a lot of disengage there. The Sobek, the Thor wall, so very good at isolating targets and getting them out freely. And you see it demonstrated there. Now, and it will be... It will be the Rage, Brandon. I don't know if this is going to be worth it. I mean, they spent a lot trying to get this. They used best ultimate as well. They're losing farm in three lanes. They're going to wind up losing a tower as well. And at the same time, Cloud9 didn't really lose too much besides some gold. They earned, I guess, a lot of it back too. Oh, oh, Pernicus, hey. Pernicus going man? deep here. The Athena ultimate coming out as well. It's going to be off the mark with the grab. And now it's an incorporal soul. And away she goes. Yeah, she. Uh, they got out of there for free. That was a lot. That was double ult, yeah? So, uh, to answer your question, is it going to be a short sword for Pern to follow up the Golden Bow? Yeah, it's, it's going to be, yeah, probably the Rage. Short Bow is really interesting. I'm sorry, Short Bow. A short Blade. Short Sword. There we short go. Short Sword. Short Sword is a very interesting item in Smite to me because it is exceptionally good for 1,500 gold, but yeah. Rage Blade is so much better than it, you never see it approach red. If Rage Blade didn't exist and it was just Deathringer, you would probably see a lot of Short Swords just being left there. For a while, yeah. Yeah, just because I mean, it's, it's so cost efficient at 1,500. And like honestly, in that's this why build, if, if you can afford Deathbringer and a short sword, it's better to do that instead of the rage. Right. Oh, best in some trouble here. Nice Aegis to avoid the stun here, but he's still stuck inside a pretty bad he's spot. Got a big Chain Lightning though, doing so a much big damage. Big crit coming out of Pernicus as well there. This Mercury, when he passes his sprint active, is oh, just doing crit. tons of damage. There is that crit. Yeah, yeah he, he gets, like, he gets yeah. one big one to help take down the Jonger as well, and uh, MLC Stealth will take a 30-minute rest on the sidelines. 30 minute. Yeah, dude, he's done. <laughs> he's out. He's ready for game four. Cloud9's still decent then. <laughs> yeah, they're 25 seconds spot. left. Yeah. Well, they're used to playing 4v5, aren't they? Oh, hey. all right. Hey. They got soul, though. It's 5v5. Yeah. She's like two. She's two? She's two. Getting out there? She has that split personality. Sometimes, you know, she's just dude, okay. a little unstable. Love it. <laughs> Love that. Love what you do there. Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm such a fan of your I'm work, I'm here man. for you. <laughs> Bernicus walking over a sentry ward, going real deep here <laughs> to enemy territory. I think he's just waiting for these mid camps. They're up, and he will get them for free, it seems. Cock did a 5 to 5. Uh, you'll note they're ahead, but two gold furies ahead? Not quite so much. I still, I, you know, and, and I keep saying it, and I keep on just looking back and just being like, it's these team fights get ugly, right? If Kabam can't hold level with Barracuda, he's going to outperform him so much in these fights with that soul. We saw in the last game, and I mean, like, this is the thing. It's kind of like Kabam playing catch up, right? Because Barracuda's like, well, watch me just body you as Shibalanke as your soul. And he's like, oh, me too. I and mean, like, sometimes that works, and sometimes it's Barracuda just like, it gives him a little moral boost saying, like, hey, he's trying to play my game. I think late game, Cognitive is going full dice roll. They're going to drop all their stuff in one fight. Mercury's going to just blow maximum velocity, get to the back line, and try to kill two people. Yeah. And if it works, they're going to win. And if it doesn't, they are going to just get well, wiped now, in a Would you rather see the rag or the Ratataster over the Merc here for. Pern. I mean, it's more of a comfort pick, perhaps. I mean, in from an analysis play, standpoint, it's one thing. I would much rather see the Mercury because we haven't seen him in a year. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just fun to watch. It's one of the coolest ults ever. Maximum velocity. Fun name for an ability. Yes. 
grants you passive movement speed, attack speed. Well, it's like, it, it, Mercury's a great god in the long line of Scott Zier gods with ridiculous named abilities like the moves and maximum velocity and major look and all that stuff. Oh, speaking of major look, Pernicus made four look as he dives out of there. Baskin going super deep for this one, taking so much damage, and he completely off the mark there, oh, he's trying to, to cut like something off, but he's in a bad spot. He wanted to set up for like the super wall that would cut off all uh, escape. Uh -oh. oh, that's a brilliant uh -oh. ultimate by Meerkat there. The soul ultimate not going to do enough. Barracuda actually need to put that back towards himself instead of away. Now he's out of the fight. MLC Stealth forced to move in and try to get return kills. And he oh. will be successful in killing Meerkat there. The double dot stack up is enough. And it's 6-6 six to six now in kills. That's Cloud9's favor. That's a three-level disadvantage. Uh, and with Andy being 0-2 compared to a 3-2. Oh, look at super Jeff's win. build. That's, that's like the manliest Sobek build ever. Just hide the urchin right away. Pen boots, hide the urchin. Just do it. That's a solo lane build. <laughs> yeah. That's solo lane Sobek. Yeah. Solobek. Which is no farm. He's playing a new version of Solobek. It's Duobek. Hey, here's a here's a head scratcher for you. Why is Athena's taunt not called Major Look? <laughs> that confounds me, Bart. It makes you look young. <laughs> 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 oh, smite puns. Uh, what a day. I like to think it's called Major Look because I inspired it. Now, what's what's your what's what do you think is the silliest named ability in all of Smite? Oh, um, absolutely transgressor's fate yeah, or suppress the insolence. Or suppress the insolence. It's <laughs> like, gotta be suppress the insolence. Artemis' moves are nonsense. I mean, she's like, it's like somewhere, someone was reading a Wikipedia page, it was like, Artemis suppresses the insolent with her bow and arrow. And like, oh, that. yeah, that's it. Suppress the insolent. And then somewhere down the line, we're like, dude, just name it Ricochet. It bounces off walls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I don't know. Uh, the groaniest one is definitely so beautiful. Oh, uh, that's pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts because it's so beautiful. Oh, oh man, that one makes me just go. <laughs> yeah, you look mad, oh, man. Every time, it's such a groaner. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah, the Artemis abilities are out of control. And then Zeus has chain lightning. Caldonian boar. Oh, Pernicus in some trouble there. I mean, he does have 10% increased movement speed. Actually, 15 if you count the golden bow. And he will have an escape here. Will Baskin choose to force the ultimate is the question. And yeah, we'll no. see it later. Later. Ruin the whole mid lane. What's your opinion on Slice and Dice as a name for that Nemesis ability? I think it's fine. I think it's fine, too. <laughs> that, that one toes the line for me, right? That's like as far as I'll go for the funny name, right? Slice and Dice, like okay. guy dialogue right So there. beautiful, the moves. Uh, C9 has a chance at one of their first Gold Furies this set. They're taking a while with it, though. <laughs> yeah, they're like... Cog would have had two Gold Furies by now. Yeah, Cloud9 Cloud was like, we'll take the Gold Fury to bait them to fight us. Kind of was like, Ooh, we Andy. all in. They're not going to find a roar here. Andy? Oh, yes, geez, just in time. That's the, what, the fifth ultimate? Oh, nope, there's a detonate from Bess up in the sky. He falls down. His body, a ragged corpse, falling to the ground from so high up. Everyone taking that soul damage, though. And Meerkat just, like, sitting in there, trying to control Baskin. Best actually has a good line. And oh, Kabam bringing Athena, Athena right back. Oh, that sucks. Like, and that was with the Athena damage reduction. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yikes. God bless. Here we go. But look, uh, Cloud9 is uh, waiting in the wings Cloud9's here. not fooling anybody. Yeah, God, yeah I don't think they, yeah. they probably all... Oh, I bet you they all went back, huh? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's Cloud9, like, from the Raptors. Like, I bet you Cloud9 went back. In fact, only two people of COG are here. Where did the, the other team backed? COG backed. Madness. That was crazy. The Athena ulted in. She belong hey, recalled. It's funny, all this time with Thor getting banned out. Hey, but turns per it, three. like, critical uh, capacity here. Right, like oh, he's, he he's a critical mass for like killing people. Dude, like, he went death break. He went death break. Like he can, he can kill. He can swing. And we're gonna see it showing off oh. here. But he's taking a ton of damage from Soul. Soul Ultimate doing tons. Perdicus goes down right away. Best in a lot of trouble on the backside as well. He slowed in the Aegis. Remember that slow still applies from Jean Quay. She doesn't deal the damage until the Aegis is over. So there's nowhere for Zeus to go. Look at Jeff's position. He's just waiting for someone to try to squeak out of this one. He's gonna take the wrong way around from Meerkat. Jeff's gonna feel a little bit uh, sad about that one, I'm sure. Oh, but it's the wall from Andenster. <laughs> That one, not off the mark. MLC Stealth tri credited with a triple in Kabam. Sadly, Man. farming way back in. You know, there, I'm sure there was someone in the chat going, why isn't Mercury picked more? Well, that's There why. it is. Because, he yes, he will kill you in two hits faster than you can react. But if he doesn't, he just dies. If there's a Sobek and he casts Tail Whip while you are in melee range, You're, you likely die. Yeah. I mean, you can't. Beads knock up. Sobek was by, beyond the right call here to deal with the Mercury. Well, no, no, let's be clear. You can beads the knock up. You can't beadsing while you've been knocked up does nothing, right? Like, so if you have the beads active, what I mean by that, when the knock up is applied to you, you will not get knocked up. But once you are in the air, beads does nothing. It's like the goggles. It's like what? It's goggles. It oh, it's nothing. Like goggles. Got it. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. Although my greatest fears were confirmed. It was lame. That it was going to be a Simpsons quote. Once Andenster. again, Andenster. That's number six now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe number seven? 
The, uh, the, the Anvil of Dawn needs to be renamed to, like... Shing out. Shing out. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> when in doubt, you know? When in doubt, shing out. Uh, cognitive, though, losing grip on the game. Uh, only just slightly, though. Andy, a man after your own heart, Brandon. The male of Newell gets picked up. The male of Renewal. These room forces are catching me, though. I just don't, I don't see it. It's just, I just super cost-effective HP. I, I get that, but for a little bit more, you get mail, right? So I'm, I'm wondering, because this item has not been in the meta forever. I really wish Rude. a bro would come up to me and go, this is why. And I really hope the analysis isn't like, I used to do this and it was good, and I stopped and I don't well, remember you can ask, why. You can, well, yeah, that's probably what's good to the Baskin. Baskin will just be like, I don't know. I gotta do my homework, leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's still, I, that one's gonna stay with me. Yeah. Baskin Robbins asked if he could do his homework during the game. And he did. Because he just felt like he was so much better. <laughs> like, go away, go to tower, answer a math question. <laughs> Alt-tab back. Show your work, Baskin. <laughs> yeah, show your work, buddy. He's like, what are you talking about? Everybody builds boots. No. <laughs> no, Baskin. <laughs> uh, Sobek, is that five stacks on that height of the urchin? Already? Yikes. Yeah, five assists and one kill. Jam do you my. mouse over height of the urchin, please? It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's right now giving him 55 of both protections plus 250 health and mana. Right, that's what it says. Perticus <laughs> into trouble. Yeah, you, you already know. We just asked Brandon. <laughs> hey! Where's Andy? Well, number seven didn't work. Where's Andy? His withered corpse fell to the ground. Oh, he died. He died to the Oh, Zeus. I missed that. I was waiting for him to come down. No, no, no. He detonated in the air. Oh, Second geez. time he'll die in the air. But yeah. he's seven for nine in escaping. All right. That was a real stat, not a made-up one. 70% <laughs> of Bart's stats are real. That, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's very true. 25 minutes in, though. I think I'm going to lose my prediction here of 100 minutes total game time. I think I needed it done by this point. I like I like this build uh, switch up here from MLC as yeah. well. Look at that. Pull down boots into the Spear of the Magus. He wanted things different, right? Or like it Rush. Was, he's going to rely on Soul to do that massive damage. Which is fine, right? And that's why he gets the Magus in this build instead, because he can, he can set up better for the Soul, as opposed to uh, having a, you know a, not another core mage that that Spear of the Magus is really going to help out. A Pythags should be coming out as well from one of these two. I would like to see that, yes. And it, it could time. very well be this uh, next item build up here. No, no, it can't. Never mind. That's nope. a lost artifact. Yep. I, I just saw that one. It's going to be Rod. Yeah, that'll be a could Rod. Could be Doom Orb. Come on, Bart. You got to believe. The 26-minute Doom Orb. Get real. When I was in Australia, I was playing arena games with the Australian randos. Yeah. And uh, this dude played Thanatos Heartseeker Arena and got like... 70,000 player damage and carried the hell out of it. <laughs> it's the craziest that's thing I've arena. ever seen. 70,000 damage? Yeah, that's a lot of excuse. Dude, he was like 35 and 7. Uh, it was craziness. So, Doom Orb, right? If he did it, right? If it worked in an Australian arena game. Exactly. Barracuda is going to <laughs> In the to North build. American Super Regionals, it's probably worth pulling it out. Doom Orb, a completely different <laughs> item. Switch class Thanatos by the Doom Orb. Or the Heartseeker, I guess. Talking about cheese. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's serious Even Cog would be like, damn, should have did that. Shoutouts to having five buffs at the same time to do more. Uh-oh. Hey, beads away. None of that. But Jeff Finlow is so impossibly tanky right now that he will just soak this up all day. And here comes Jogger. He's got the uh, that Heavenly Agility active. He's channeling out tons of damage. And it just seems to have oh, been Andy's the theme for the fight. Up goes Andy. Done, and he's going to get it. Burn, gonna try to channel the ultimate. He'll make it through the stun there. It doesn't matter. He goes out of Andy nonetheless. It's double tap on the backside with a hammer. Brilliant placement there. Jeff Henla still in the front line. Still so big. Weakening curse. Barracuda. Bow. Oh. Got him. There is pretty low though. We'll get taken down. He got body down blocked by, by the, the minions there and killed by the tower, in fact. Wait, Aurora? Meerkat Aurora's went down. Aurora feeling himself there, but it's a uh, a one for three trade. Barracuda traded out for Meerkat, Pern, and Kabam. 27 and a half minutes in. It's 13 kills to 10 for Cloud9. They're up a couple thousand gold here, but the experience has got to be growing at this point. I, I, I like that. I mean, the way that Cloud9 played that was just amazing, mm -hmm. and I think most of the credit, right, winds up being that early push that Jeff Hinla got, forcing out the beats from Zeus. Right, once, yeah, 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 that early pluck. Right, once yeah. that happened, Best could no longer be the frontliner. He couldn't be the Zeus that goes, I can run around the team fight for free. Ha ha ha, look at all my damage. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm going to sit in the back and hope Pern doesn't die. Unfortunately, his uh, hopes didn't quite pan out. Yeah, you know, you say that, but I really think that the play in that fight was Andon's are hitting Pern with a, a raw double tap yeah. to pick up the kill there. I mean, that fight goes pretty differently if he throws out a 700 damage major luck on a couple targets. That's true. Um, and Andy, Andy's super, super good. Like, and that's, that's the easy analysis, right? Andy is God. Yeah, it has yeah, yeah. been for years. Um, but there's a big, I think there's a pretty stark difference between 2013 Andy and 2015 Andy, and that's we're at land and he's still a god. So now the question is can Cloud9 go through Eager? Uh, if they're able to take out Cognitive Gaming, can they make it through Eager as well? 
the last time. Uh, if history repeats itself, it'll be close, but Cloud9 can edge it out. Then that means we could be uh, setting up for the uh, potential adapting versus Andinster. Let's take a listen in here for Cloud9 to see if they can secure this one versus COG as the Gold Fury started up. Be careful. My dash is just down. Merc's here. I want to go get red. Yeah. I have blanking off now. I just want red first. Oh, nice. Good. Well, that's um, I, can, I can find it here. I can push in. Uh, oh, there's there's sentry sentry Do you guys have a sentry? No, I, I, yeah. I already used them. You guys have to buy sentries. I already did sentry. Yeah, I mean, sell both drop sentries to sell. Uh, drop sentries that's useless well. too. Uh, I mean, we, they could be on it. I just can't help. <laughs> Best you can't bug. They're on it. I'm we can go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice hail. I'm blinking. Look at Zeus. Look at Zeus. Look at Zeus. Okay, I'm ulting. Zeus, look at Zeus. Look at Zeus. I'm getting zoned. I'm getting zoned. I got no buttons. I got no buttons. Zeus, one shot. Nice, Zeus nice. Got him, got him. Target, target, target. I'm on. Mark out. in the back. Okay, Mark in the, the back. Mark in 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 the back. Mark beats down. Balona ult down. He should be dead. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yo, Balona right here. Go, Balona. Look at Balona. Look at Balona. Yeah. Do you have a slow? Do you have a slow? Yeah, I do. Where is she at? She's slow. She's slow. Okay. How about stuff? How about stuff? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Help him kill out, kill help him, him out, Bologna, Bologna, one shot, Bologna, one shot, nice job, look at Athena, look, look at Athena, Athena we can go in, we can okay, go I'm pushing in, I'm pushing in, I have a stun, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a block, do you have a stun? Dash, block, I got a wall, block, dash, block, dash, I called her, I called her back, I'm looking for a block, 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 Really, some of the uh, just absolute stunning mechanics there in yeah, that fight. Yeah, because the wall. Because of the wall, <laughs> stunning yeah. People. Yeah, stunning. I mean, that that blink forward into the wall, into yeah. the Sobek pluck there was, was, some, was of the, some of the sexiest stuff I've seen around in Smite. You know, and that's, I think, something that's been missing from this tournament a lot that I love, like, more than anything else in Smite. Structure comp is crazy and, like, borderline overpowered. And Anister, with just the one wall, was showing why that's true. Yeah, I mean, not only did was the wall that he got to separate the Zhang Kui from the Athena Ultimate excellent, the follow-up wall there. I mean, that's that's two like very low percentage plays that he hits back to back uh, to separate players. I mean, that's one of the harder things to do in, in any MOBA game, much less an action game like Smite, where players are so mobile and so fast, is actually successfully getting that pin. Because a lot of times the game will compensate, right? If you hit the wall dead on, it'll kind of choose the side for the player to go to more or less. And, and, and successfully oh. always getting them in the right spot is pretty tough. And, and Anister really uh, flexing his muscles there a little bit. Cog not in a great position here. Uh, they didn't get a chance to really defend the Fire Giant, and now they're going to lose the Gold Fury as well. And I think the hemorrhage has begun here, Bart. They're losing a lot of structures. They're losing objectives. The map control is completely gone, and now the Zeus, you know, which is going full damage, doesn't really have enough control. There's no defense on the side of Pern. In fact, all three of their major carries are just wet paper bags, and if they get touched, they're going to fall apart. I tell you what, the, what side I really want to see at the end of this game, or if, uh, if in, the, in the back we could figure this out. What is MLC Stealth's combined KDA across all three games of Zhang Kui? Because, like, I feel like he's going to be somewhere in the realm of, like, 35 to 40 around 10 to 12 deaths and like 50 assists or so in three games. It's been uh, quite the MLC show. It yeah, seems. I mean, it's, it's been just nutso. And a lot of his assists were because like he got hit by the Nemesis ult and then got <laughs> you see that? rushed down. pointing out there. That's a sprint three. That's got to be a misclick from Jeff. No, Sobek needs to go very quickly. <laughs> yeah, super, super back. In fact, he has to go pretty much the same speed as Heavenly Agility. Yeah, except for just him. Yeah, because that's, that's important. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a misclick from uh, Guys, I need Pepe. to be able to do this every 60 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> like it's... Watch how fast my puddle is. <laughs> Actually. Now you feeling you it? got it, Bart. <laughs> the fast puddle? The, the fast puddle. Yeah, look also, at that. That's a counter word right there by Meerkat. I love, 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 love then, the mail of renewal coming out from, from Jeff. Really? You love the mail of renewal? I'm sorry, Tell me more, mail, Brandon. Sorry, Midgardian mail. Can't get it off the brain. Yeah. The Midgardian mail shuts down damage from four people on their team. Yeah, the, you mentioned that really early on here in the draft is that there's a lot of in-handing going on. Now, granted, Zeus is doing a lot of in-handing onto his shield, ideally. Oh, man, look at Stealth's positioning. And they have the counter war there as well. He knows there's no one there. Does he have the blink this time around? He does. Is a blink three there. Pern's going to turn the corner, though. Card off the mark. So now they know. The Jig is up. What are you doing? Ah, oh, Jigs was coach of TSM. Oh, God. Okay. Come on, guy. What do you pay you for? <laughs> you don't pay me. <laughs> uh, Pernicus going to get card. Look at that 400 damage crit that just kind of tickled him. Yeah, MLC Stealth's like, come on. <laughs> Stop it. Well, they bully down the tier two in the mid lane here. One, oh, sorry, two tier twos remaining. One on the left, one on the right. They'll take the left side one here. Will old Cloud Nine always more, uh, always safer to go ahead and assault you furthest away nine. from the fire giant. It's Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. That's Cloud. Cloud Nine. Yeah, where's Poseidon at? <laughs> on nope. Xbox. No Poseidon today. 
Yeah, look at that. Actually, no ISIS look at that. today. He did go E staff, and that's a uh, 3,600 HP Jonquay. He should have built. Mail of Renewal? No. Well, yes. <laughs> he should have built Sal. Salvation? Yeah. 500 heal across the board. Oh, eh, oh not a good Lord. blink, though. Taking a lot of damage there. Meerkat in the back line, kind of blocked off. He's pretty resilient. Don't know that he needed to use that ult there. Well, the Bag of Demons is still full here from Jonquay, so they can just walk into this Phoenix. Yeah, and they should. They uh, should just walk this right In down. fact, all five ultimates are up for Cloud9. As opposed to four. four. On Cog. And they've lost their most important one. Your Bologna ultimate most important? Uh, I mean, for this level, I mean, maybe Over it's the, the best. Well, it's a good taunt in there from Aurora, but now he finds himself in a spot that maybe he doesn't want to be in. And here comes the ghost! And yeah, they're going to get one. One so far isn't good enough. Baskin uh, taking some damage here, but it looks like the Phoenix does go down. Andy in the Heavenly sky. Agility chases on. There's a slow yeah. Andy stir. Re-engaging with the Anvil of Dawn, porting back out as well. Meerkat does not have that ultimate available, as you said earlier on in the fight. Jeff Finland's going to dash away. The follow-up from Gabon. This should be enough to pick up at least the so back here. It's another nice stun, but the best with the ultimate. Nice positioning there as well, detonating. And in the back line, it's Baskin. He'll fall as well to a double for the best, and Athena ultimate being channeled here as well. But there's not really too much stuff after the stuff that they can get. You know, I'm, I'm, by no means am I rooting for either team to win, but yeah, okay. I really would have liked to see that fight last about 10 to 15 seconds longer because if Jeff escaped with a re reuse of sprint, <laughs> right? Like that would get paid for itself right that there. That would have been great. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. And missing that heavenly agility, which they cannot build anymore, uh, they just get destroyed. I don't even know how that happened. There's a huge liability here on the side of cognitive gaming, though. And I'm going to point it out to you, and you're going to go, how is that still possible? There's a yeah. B to 1 on Shibalanke at 35 minutes, 30 seconds here. I mean, he this is, is bad. pretty far behind. But it's not like he's far behind another hunter. It's Soul. He's, right? he's bad news bears if they catch him. If that beads goes down, I mean, yeah. I guess it's, it's kind of splitting hairs at this point because, you know, any mistake could potentially lose them the game at this point with how much uh, pressure that cloud 9 has been able to put out. But still, that beads one is a big-time liability. Vernicus level 20 now. In fact, everyone uh, level 20, it looks like, except for Aurora right now. I haven't 18. had one of those in a while. What's up? A, a game where everyone hits level 20. Yeah, I mean, Aurora's still uh, quite a ways away, especially as a support. She's not going to see much farm here on out. Uh, she does hit 19, though, but it's uh, quite an ask for him to get that extra level off. Team fighting is going to be happening a ton, unless they wind up winning and he gets all the kills. That was close. That was not. But yeah, I'm just bullying from Cloud9, centering deep into the cognitive gaming jungle. Meerkat, not sure about, the, is there a call to fight that? Like, he was charging for it, like, they meant business. Let's take a listen, uh, maybe, to, to Cognitive here and see how they're going to deal with Cloud9 posturing up at the Fire Giant. You have all? I'm going to try to get in Tonum off you. Thor's in there. Thor's really low. Thor's really low. Thor might He's going to go on me. He's going to go on me. He's really low. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. He might come in. Come on. Okay. Fine. Just heal up. Come on. Just lifesteal. No, 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 no. Let's go back. Careful mid. Careful mid. Backing up. I'm going to try and get this blue. I just beat the shit out of him, but... You just centered that. Okay, so I use my Heavenly there, Roar, and my beads. Okay. Do you want me to push left right now? I should push I'm left. Thor. Yeah, he has no magic protection, just so you know. He, got, he has speeds, beads, beads, beads. I'm coming to the fight. I'm coming, uh, to, the fight. I'm coming to the fight. I haven't made you out. Run if you can, best. Run if you can. Look in the back, in the tunnel. Yeah, I'm gonna taunt him, I'm gonna taunt him. That's good, that's good, that's good. Get so <laughs> by me, you can't! <laughs> Okay, watch out. Oh Can we reset? Watch for oh, I need a back. I need a back. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, John's yeah. gonna go on Jungs. I should, I should be fine. I should be fine. I should be fine. I'll taunt him. Can you defend God. left for a second? Yeah. Defend left. Do you have any vision down here? So. I'm coming over now. Do you want me to push up left? I'm life stealing off of these little. Yeah, yeah. We can't give up a free phoenix. Yeah. Push it up. We can't take anything. We just have to kill me. Sure, we have 40 seconds. Well, that's not what Bess okay, is pushing. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pushing back. Okay, Bess, go to them. Go to them, Bess. Alright, alright. Right, right. That's fine. I'm coming over. I get, uh, uh, the giant, I can't I'm here. I just found a guy. I'm fine. I'm coming There's soul over here. Just don't let us get pinched. Don't I'm let taunt. ourselves get pinched. I'm I'm careful. Yeah, you're alone. You're alone. You're alone. You're alone. I'm coming over now. I've stunned a guy. I've stunned a guy. It's fine. I'll heal up. And the I'm here now. Okay. I have a soul I'm reaver. I have a soul reaver. I'm not there. Yeah, it's, I can't a, come it's a 4v4 though. It's, it's a 4v4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the word is teleport. The word is teleport. Osiris, you mean? Yeah. yeah. It's fine. You yeah, can respawn in 5. Yeah. I'm gonna ward I up can here. maybe solo gold. Mm. Maybe. I wouldn't do it, I don't think. They could have have it it's warded. It's pretty gold, dude. Okay. I just sentried it. Just, there's probably another fire wave in left, by the way. I know. Make sure you don't go for fire. Keep eyes. Do you see them? No, we don't see them. Wow. Pernicus in the epic boss battle here. 
Uh, maximum Velocity coming up for the second time in this engagement, and he'll get it. Only took about uh, half his health there. Uh, golden Hand here. Pernicus looking to finish up this uh, Soul Eater. He's going to need 900 gold to do it, uh, and he's there. Yeah, so he can, he can finish his Soul Eater. Well, that's not really making a huge difference here, having the Soul Eater versus the Bound Gauntlet. I mean, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, 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 well, it, fighting the minions, I mean, like, it's not making a huge difference here, right? He's going to take that next wave. Gold Fury is no problem. Also, he'll have enough gold, if he chooses to, um, to either maximize his sprint into a Heavenly Agility, which seems good, or he could actually wind up picking up a Power Pot as well for 20 damage. Oh, okay. Although you got to think Sprint 3 probably, and, or Heavenly probably, Adds more than knowing 20 what damage. I know about Mercury's passive now, probably four times as much as the Pot. It's like, yeah, no, uh, Heavenly over Sprint 2 adds uh, basically the equivalent in DPS of an Iqbal. It doubles his damage. Yeah, <laughs> outright. <laughs> Doesn't even matter what point of the end, it just doubles. And he goes Sprint 3, so we have two Sprint 3s. They actually, I think this is a good call considering they already had two Heavenly Agilities on the board. There's no way that the one on Jeff was in Oh, no, that is definitely a misclick. Yeah. That's when you're like, oh, yeah, I'll finish off my tree. Like, oh, no, why would I ever buy this one? Control Z, please. Yo, you want the undo when you buy the wrong side of the tree? Yes, please. You get your combat blink instead of your blink tree. Control Z. <laughs> I know. See, I combat blank. I'm like, I can make this work. Yeah, no you, can, you can deal. When you build sprint as Aphrodite, you're like, well, guys. Yeah, sorry about that 10% healing you're missing out on. There. <laughs> it's fun. It's 15. 15, yeah. yeah. Totally could have been 10. Plus, you know, AOE slow immunity for my team. Yeah, that's good. That's the problem. Because, like, Jean Quay has some slow immunity. You know, uh, Andy, not really so much. In fact, there's not a lot of immunity on this team whatsoever. Well, Brandon, we're past your, your 100 minutes, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sad sad news for you. Sad boys. 40 minute game. Cognitive. I mean, they still have a chance here. A good One good major look at a Fire Giant fight wins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You won't do it. <laughs> You're calling him out like that? You won't do it. Just let him know. <laughs> He's waving at us like, no, 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 we're not doing that. Yeah, right. No, 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 thanks. <laughs> oh. oh, hey. Shield of the Underworld. All right. Shield of the Underworld. Meerkat, why are you there? And uh, I'll see you later. Oh, Pern's in there, real deep in the uh, back Pern line. Pern try to make something work there. That's a that's a big reach there for the Mercury. Now he finds himself a bit out of position. Anisir, he's thinking about reengaging. He's gonna go for it, and they're gonna Pern is the high priority target here. That wall off the mark for the slow, gonna stick over the top. Comes Baskin, it's enough. The burst damage is there, and now Pernicus is dead due to Meerkat being out of position. And now it's the four v five, and Cloud Nine is not looking at the Fire Giant for now. They're looking to D Ward and push lanes. That's a minute down with probably the person who's doing the most damage. Can we actually check the damage charts here to see if anyone's near Pern? Ah, on get out of here, Zeus. Oh, Zeus, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, never mind. Yeah. Actually, wow, he's he's fourth. Well, he's a single target assassin. He hasn't really had much opportunity to get those big major looks out. Fire Giant is started up by Cloud9. Cognitive, they're going to take uh, four total hits there from that Mjolnir achievement. But at this stage in the game, it's not too troublesome. Just about four or five hundred damage coming out of there. So major look with Golden Bow. Single target. Number. Hey, got him. <laughs> now Bess has the beads and run away. And again, could this be... Uh, Basically the same engagement we saw earlier on where Jeff Henley gets the beads, but no, it's the Zeus ultimate at this stage of the game. Just such a great stopping force there. He's going to hold the rest of Cloud9 out. And in the meantime, there was no Fire Giant being taken, so there's not much they can do there. And now it's the resurgence of Cog as Meerkat and Aurora are going to move forward. MLC will miss. They'll counter Ward here. Whoa. Now Cog has an opportunity of their own to take a Fire Giant with a full health Kabam. That was so strange to me that Meerkat chose the Ward instead of Stealth. They're going to rush down into Andy. Wall not going to go off yet. Still has that stun available to him. He jumps out. Again, the wall gets shut down third time. Not going to be as effective. Still gets him out of there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's phew, Meerkat using the ultimate there is a little bit suspect in that case. I mean, yeah. like, it's hard for them to, there was no follow-up. Very he reliable that him. they secure that kill Yeah, with no follow-up. So uh, Now they won't have it available. No Roman Victor for the Fire Giant fight. Fire Giant started up from Cognitive Gaming. They have if one if of the they best. try to fight this through the Cloud9 initiation, it is a complete all-in. They have one of the best confirms in the game with Detonate. True. And Zeus, oh, Zeus actually doesn't have his ultimate. Let's check in with Zeus. How long before we uh, we have that back up? Oh, okay, it's up in five. And he's got a soul reaver. Yeah. He's got well. a reeve soul. That's a six slot Zeus. Why is Meerkat always Again? fighting four people? And so if history repeats itself, Pern ult incoming and then he'll die. Yep, there's the Pern ult. Yeah. And Pern will die. Yep, okay. All right. We're and now we're going to watch them posture on the fire giant, right? No. We're going to see some deaths here. Yeah, we're going to see a uh, game here, most likely. I don't know, Kabam. Meerkat continues to just walk away from the fight. Doesn't have enough control right now. It's going to be Kabam versus they four up, Oh, they, they pick up MLC. They okay. got stealth, yeah. But this will extend the gold lead by about 50%. Remember that other fight where that happened? Yes. Where Meerkat got isolated and then, you know. And then Pernicus died. All the same things happened? Yeah. And poor Kabam sitting here just like... 
hoping they were going to go for the Phoenix and not the Fire Giant, I think. Maybe look for the defense because things become a lot more dire. Meerkat looking for a second big steal of the game. They're not going to know he's here. Yeah, he doesn't have the spirit, spirit flail this time. Let's ride along with Meerkat, guys, and see if it happens. He does, I don't think he has the health bar either. He has Roman Invicta. Yeah, I don't think he has the health bar either, so he has to wait. He just has to guess here. Now he's Soul turn the corner and the disengage, and they're just going to try to close in on him. Fire Giant not leashed just yet, though. And yeah, Andy's just going to ultimate. They're not going to take any chances here. They were like, We've, I've been hurt before. They're trying to wait until he's stunned. Oh, oh God. I, I saw the C come up. <laughs> oh, my God. Same. And I was like, oh, my God, he did it again. Same. But no, not this time. pretty low here. He'll bring Athena in. I don't know if it's going to be enough to save him. Baskin going super deep here. The taunt, though, is going to be good. The taunt actually breaks the tether there. Nicely done. Baskin pops the shield of the underworld. He's going to try to move forward and pressure onto the retreating Kabam, but that'll be enough to get him out of there. Fire Giant buffs secured from Cloud9, but just barely. That that was heartbreaking to see because Meerkat could not have played that any better than he did. Yeah, he kited him around, actually got in the right spot at the right time. DJ Pernicus narrowly avoiding death there. Once again, uh-oh. Oh me, oh my. Oh, those ghosts doing so much damage. You see, just the one tick from the spear, the second one looked like it did almost double the damage. No, it's a nice taunt from Aurora instead. Nope, Taunt's gonna find best. I'm sorry, the Pluck's gonna find best, but it's in his own ultimate. Jeff Hendler's gonna tail whip to knock Aurora back for now. Ghosts were not enough to chase down any more kills for MLC Stealth, and it's a 45 minute Fire Giant stalemate there. Cloud9 will secure it. Cognitive Gaming gonna retreat without losing anything, though. And with that, Cloud9 gets it free back in now three minutes of map domination as they have the Fire Giant buff for a very long time. Well, guys, if you are uh, still here with us, it's, uh, it's getting pretty late over here on the East Coast. It's 10 p.m. Eastern, guys. Uh, wow. We'll be starting this all over again tomorrow. 9 a.m. is the start of game number one in Europe. 8.30 pregame show. I'm going to be tired. All times are Eastern. It's so late right now. It's way past my bedtime. Yeah? What time is your bedtime? You know, like a 9.30 guy? Yes, 20 minutes ago. Is it really? No. Yeah, I was like, what a weirdo. <laughs> you gotta watch. You got to watch the Star Wars trilogy every night. Keeps I, up to at least like two, right? I have watched 12 Star Wars films since... <laughs> my trip to Australia <laughs> on the, yeah, today. <laughs> in between. I mean, in my mind, that's steps. what happens. Like, you leave the studio, you go home, you turn on, like, New Hope. <laughs> let it run in the background. You let it run. And then you, like, watch it, like, two or three times, and then, like, maybe you move on to five. I mean, think about it, right? The stormtroopers come in, they do all the work, and then Vader just, like, walks in over everyone's dead body and just, like, chokes some guy, telling him, tell us where the plans are, and, like, doesn't even give him a chance to answer. Like, how could anyone be cooler than Vader? Yeah, that's tough. Jar Except Jar. for like Kefka, because he actually like. What about Jar Jar? Darth Jar Jar. Is he cooler? Right. Don't make. All right, we need we need to stop. Brandon's going to be thirty minutes of Jar Jar talk. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I have an hour fifteen minute game, like the greatest <laughs> smite game ever. And you're like, but uh, no, dude, he waves his hand every time he talks. Cool. Have you seen another character do a twenty foot flip? No, no one has ever done that. The other Gungas. No. Yes. No. Yes. You show me proof of that. Watch the battle scene. I did. No, you didn't. Many times. Not critically. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> One day well, they're going to go into the Phoenix. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just, it's just poke. It's a little poke fest here. Stealth, Stealth is going to go in with these ghosts, and there's a chance the Cog can do what they did last time. We saw this fight happen once Well, that's the thing, before. right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. At any point, Cloud9 can walk in, pop all their ultimates, and take a Phoenix and run away. Like, no problem, that can happen. But last time, they didn't run away. Like, you They're know. looking for an engagement where they can get more than just that. Because that's pretty much guaranteed at this point. With the soul, with the Jonger, and in goes the Jonger. Out comes Missed the Ghost. Everything. And uh, he's dumped it all. And here comes Cloud9. It's the full Breath and Fury. MLC Stealth finds himself getting very, very low. And in fact, destroyed by Best. And Cloud9 turned back. Here comes Perdicus. It's going to be a big ultimate. That's there great. he goes. Right that's out through. Perdicus in the back line. But he's taking tons of damage. Jeff Hamlin doing a nice job. He's seeing him there. Perdicus trying to retreat, but it doesn't matter. Already oh. three picked up a Barracuda. Will snipe one on the backside there, taking out Best. Barracuda still alive with the potential to wipe this team. He is the sole late game. Doing a ton of damage to Aurora. One more. Two's going to do it. One will be enough to pick up Meerkat. It's a double kill for now for Barracuda. Moving forward. Perdicus still alive. And coming out of the base should be able to hold them off for now. And somehow, Cognitive Gaming holds out Cloud9 in a 2-3 to three trade right outside their base. Minute-long timers all around. Everyone back to the well. Have a nap. Not a bad time, honestly. Uh, Meerkat with having teleport it, it will be up in time for Fire Giant. Uh, as Cloud9 will have about a 10-second leeway, which means they'll be about 15 to 17 seconds away from being able to contest the Fire Giant. Cognitive could try to all in if Jeff and Barracuda don't make the rotation over, but I'm sure they're going to try to make some level of defense, and I don't think they're going to have the presence of mind to rush it down right away. So much has to go right for Cognitive to win this game still. 
I mean, the gold lead, who cares? Experience lead, who cares? All of it is trivial now. Everyone's level 20. Gold Fury, just why not for funsies? I mean, I guess they could use it. Is it I mean, wait, actually, everyone is full build. No, they can't really use it. This is like red pots. Yeah, I mean, some pots, some wards. And at this point, they're giving up all of their control that they would have had at the Fire Giant. Uh, this call will get them a small amount of gold, but they're giving up a lot of space control. Golden hand, please. A lot for Pernicus. What does He's he at 2400, but like, what can he really replace? I mean, he bought a red pot. Yeah, I mean, he's max, maxed out. To get rid of the Soul Eater for Blood Forge, and that would be really it. Yeah, I mean, and even he, that's like, he hey, could use a spike, I guess. 50-50, but... I don't know. The Shibalanka is going to be swinging. Though. Take a look at, at Kabam here. What's his total power? 367 in hand. That's a lot. Doesn't have any stacks, though. No what? Stacks on his passive. Oh, 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 now, The 30 wow. power could help. Jeez. Especially with the crit, you know, that 30 turns into 75 real quick. Wow, I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Not a single kill for Kabam. Not where you want your Shibalanka to be in a 50-minute game. What in With the 32 world? kills. Oh, wow, they're going to try to make the hot play here on a John Quay and pick him off in the mid lane. Pernicus is committed fully to this, but they're going to take a ton of damage from MLC Stealth. The rest of the team not getting time. Him. They'll pick him off, but it's a lot of ultimate use again. And then it comes Anderson to the back line. Isn't enough to find more kills. Best isolated. He in goes in. He finds the stun onto Kabob. Beads. One, two, got three. Him. Doesn't matter. Got him even with the crits there. And out he out. goes. Barracuda, he's going to try to run out of this one. Pernicus wants to chase down Andy, but the mid lane, he's got to be careful here. One more major look. It will not crit. He cannot pursue. And now it's a 3v4 MLC Stealth down, but it's a similar trade that they made other well, otherwise on the map to take objectives. And in comes the Wrecking Crew. Soul should be enough to take out this Phoenix in the mid lane, and things are getting hairy for Cognitive Gaming. You know, I, I just can't express how important it is that Andy is the one to make that kill, because there's been so many times where Ann and Sir Lan has had a rough time, but he sees his mid laner dies, and then he's the one to make the sick play, pushing one out and getting another! Anister finding another big kill with the help of Barracuda, and Andy once again getting those big swings off. This could very well be it, Cloud9 piling in. Let's take a listen one more time to the Cloud9 comms to see if they can take out Cognitive. Stick on the Titan, stick on the Titan, stick on the Titan. Take him. Get so Titan! <laughs> Holy shit, these games are fucking And indeed, look at that. Cloud9, the hugs come out. The you got soloed by me calls from Jeff back to Aurora. A little bit of banter between those two in this game, but all in good fun. The favorites do win set number two out of North America today as Cloud9 defeats Cognitive Gaming three straight. And he just looked cool and collected throughout oh, yeah, the entire that's, game. That's the best uh, land performance from Anister with the exception of Worlds ever. Yeah, I mean, every single ult had a purpose. Yeah. He baited repeatedly. The, the reinitiations were amazing, but... That final ult was insane. He hits two yeah. people, does absurd amounts of damage. That was thousands. And then chases down Kabam. Perfect wall again. How many times did he get a wall that game that made you go, damn? Well, look it at was that. what, seven ultimates that he got out of like certain death with. A couple of really out of choice nine, walls. Right, which were yeah. detonates. And uh, and yeah, I mean, Andy looked like exceptional in game one and two. In game three on Thor, he was playing a different game than everyone else. I mean, it was just like there was no one stopping him. I think a lot of the problem for Cog in that last game, Meerkat was just in solo lane alone. And just four people would show up, and then Pernicus would Twice. have to die. Two times. The same exact Twice. thing. Yeah, same exact play. You can't have that, like... And both times, Andy's like, kill Pern. Right. Yeah, just immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That Though the final Tough Phoenix balance. defense was so good. I mean, Pern getting that huge ult for the reinitiation. Best got so much damage off. I think the real heartbreaker is Best wound up in his Aegis, and then Barracuda threw the two, and it like barely closed on the Aegis ending and killed mm, Best. That's how we got him. Yeah, I didn't see that. I saw the back of the fight. He got clipped, but I didn't know it was like It was closing. That close. Oh, it was, it was gnarly. Yikes. Well, but, hey, Cloud9, they take another land victory. And they're going to go on to fight Eager again. Right, right. We just saw them play as the finals at the Cognitive Invitational San Jose back in September, about, a two, about two months ago, a little less than that. Um, I don't think anyone is unfamiliar with these teams. Uh, probably the two teams that need the least introduction worldwide. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the, yeah, the two premier North American squads right now in terms of visibility. Yeah. Um, that's a, this is a big game because, remember, the loser now goes on to face the, the loser. Uh, the loser of Enemy and Cloud9 goes on to face the loser. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I got gotcha. you. Eager Cloud9 loser goes on to face the loser of the Enemy versus Envy game. And with the way that Enemy played today, could you imagine what it looks like if the wild card for North America is like Envy versus either one of those teams? A bloodbath? That's what it'll look like. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I can't wait to see what happens over in Europe tomorrow. 
Yeah, uh, Titan LDNC. Yeah, super, super close. Super close. Yeah, that's probably the closest game of the first round. Oh yeah. No oh question. yeah. yeah Take a look at the bracket here, guys. Uh, yeah, you have London Conspiracy Titan coming up as game one tomorrow. That'll be F Dot and Hindu Man on the call, and then it's Paradigm Dignitas in the afternoon. And again, guys, that is a, a 9 a.m. start for game number one, 8:30 Eastern. For those times in GMT. That's going to be uh, 2 p.m. 1400 GMT is going to be the start of game number one. 9 a.m. Huh? 9 a.m. It's really good. Hey, awesome. you know those, you got, <laughs> got to put out the early times for those European viewers. It's 3 p.m. In, uh, in Europe, 5 p.m. in London. And my friends, with that, let's toss it over to the analyst one more time. That's for me and Brandon from the desk. Kelly, take it away. And let us know what John has to say. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. And we are joined here by C9 Barracuda. Congratulations on your win. Uh, so actually, the first thing I want to talk about is that game two with the weird picks and hog pick. And there was like the double jungle support. How did you guys adjust to that? Because it seemed like you kind of were thrown for a loop. Um, pretty much. We were just like, if we just farm this out, we're going to win. Because their team comp was so bad, Nim had Hog <laughs> 3. It was bad? Not weird? It was really bad. Okay. Nim had Hog 3 and Boots 1 in like 10 minutes into the game. So we were just like, we just farm this out, their team comp's going to fall off. And then we kind of threw a few times during the game because we were so bored because we were just farming the entire time. <laughs> oh my and gosh. Yeah. That's how that game went. Well, <laughs> COG, you can't argue that they had great objective control, oh, but yeah. it was early on. Do you feel that you kind of ignored the objective control to take uh, a tower or maybe to mm. just kind of focus away from that because it's not as important in the early gold theories? Yeah, their pick potential game two was really, really, really strong. We couldn't really contest gold, and also they had a Hawk 3 and Anubis. So early game, gold fury has like between 4,000 and 5,000 HP. So the Hawk 3 is really good at securing it early game. Mm. So we knew as long as we just farmed it out and didn't do anything too idiotic, we'd win. Uh, talk to me about Soul, and uh, it, it's a pick that a lot of people were thinking was going to get banned, but instead, in, in both series so far, we've seen it picked up. It hasn't mm -hmm. really been banned. Uh, how strong is this guy in the Hunter role? Because we haven't really seen it like mm -hmm. go off yet. It's just yeah. been there and been solid. Uh, Soul's an extremely strong pick. She's really situational in team fights, though, and also, hmm. depending on what the team comp is, she's really easily dove whenever her three is down. So as long as you use the three effectively in team fights, and also, well, obviously, aim your two and your ult, you're gonna do a lot of damage. And also, it depends on where your front line is. If your front line's peeling extremely well, you can one v one the warrior that's coming at you. And if your front line's losing, you're really, really, really dead on soul. So what I wanted to ask you was the first game. We saw a lot of three v three on camera, but what we mm. didn't see was a lot of you one v oneing Kabam. Mm in that game and you were like three levels ahead of him when he was neath and you were so was that yeah. like due to him backing at awkward timings or were you zoning him out because we didn't get a chance to uh, see I pulled an Anatoly. Oh, you I last hit and zoned every okay. single game. But you didn't today. invade him. I didn't invade. Okay. I pulled half an Anatoly because okay. I'm only half as good as you are at ADC. <laughs> Thank you. So I literally scumbagged him the entire game. So I froze so every lane. So it was only like seven gold that you lost out on at one point instead of yeah. 13? Yeah. I th actually think it was eight. Eight? Oh, eight oh. Gold. It's the other... Close. Pretty close. close. So, <laughs> out of your teammates, who do you feel, including yourself, was probably the strongest in your team, or did you all play equally? Honestly, I think it was kind of game to game as to who played the best. We kind of struggled game three. Um, we didn't really have like the best performance team-wise, but it, honestly, I would just say it was all of us. We just played extremely well, and then we kind of rotated out like who was playing really well each game. How confident are you going up against Eager? Uh, it's going to be Thursday. Ooh. Yeah, you're going to be Thursday. facing it's, Eager. I mean, it's just so exciting because it's the classic matchup back from like 2012, <laughs> right? This is like the match that people are saying is if it would happen, which it obviously is going to now, mm -hmm. was going to be the closest of the entire tournament. Mm -hmm. Eager's an extremely strong team, and we're going to go all out and just pray that it works our way. <laughs> you, got, you got anything, any strategy saved? Did you use everything on COG? I'm assuming no. Yeah, we have a lot of strategies saved. Okay. We're just really hoping like, we like just... Like the Sprint 3, right? Like the Sprint 3 so bad? That's a good strategy. I'm really surprised you brought it out against COG. I thought you guys... There was one time in solo, Jeff was like, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting. I was like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> You're a really fast Sobek. Like, why are you calling this so mid-team fight? When these mistakes happen as getting Sprint instead of Heavenly Agility, <laughs> how do you adjust to it? Or you just kind of go, well, crap. We have a pretty slow Zonkui on our team, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> But, yeah, it's just kind of like, well, that stuff happens. We can't really focus on it. You can't really like, oh, why'd you buy Sprint 3, Jeff? You're really stupid. <laughs> like, you just have to kind of move on and just hope that a Sprint 3 Sobic can do something. That, that's what he was fight. thinking. That's just, it's not what he said, but it was mm -hmm. what he was thinking. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, how how big is like getting your team like pumped up at land? Because we heard a roar yell, get sold by Meerkat. Even like it was like every kill too, and like it wasn't a solo kill ever, <laughs> but like once. Like how how important is it to like kind of like zone out or like ignore what other people are saying while also yelling your own mm. things? Because Jeff was yelling back too. It's extremely important. We've been at land a lot, mm -hmm. so. Other people yelling, the crowd cheering, it doesn't really bother us. Uh, I think we were kind of tilted just because we were so hungry. We haven't eaten in a very long time. So it wasn't <laughs> you really love your food. <laughs> I want to no go McDonald's. eat some bananas no like, right McDonald's. after the story about Do it. No food poisoning this land. Dude, I'm just going to McDonald's. We're going to celebrate. Stealth was like, if we win this, we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> <So> <laughs> hey, I guess uh, you guys don't have to play tomorrow, right? That's true. Exactly. Thursday. I'm going to die for a day. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll be back Thursday. Uh, actually, something I want to talk about, the team communications. Mm -hmm. It did seem really hectic in game three. Do you guys just even understand each other ever when everyone's talking over each other? Or was that when you guys were going on tilt? Uh, <laughs> it was kind of both. Yeah. Um, game three was really hectic because we had to dive their backline. We had to commit on Zeus. We had to have a lot of pressure. And then our backline was getting committed on at, at the same time by Merc. So we have really, a really split fight. And the bad thing is that we had a Zonkui. Zonkui is really good moving forward, really good when he's aggressive. But when there's a Shablanka ult and a Zeus hiding away, and then there's a Merc on me in the backline, it's really hectic. And we just kind of have to pray that it works out. Because once Shablanka ults, like, you can call a target. But I can't blindly move up to their backline if, like, I can't see anything and Merc ult is always on me late game. So it might sound extremely hectic, but everything is being, like, listened to. Mm -hmm. And we're just kind of hoping it works out. Now, I know you said this uh, already, but you're going to be going up against Eager next. Do you feel like there's this particular spot that you're weaker than them or, like, better than them? Honestly, I think we're pretty much tied everywhere. Yeah. I think... Duo is extremely close. Mid and jungle pressure is pretty much the same. Solo, Baskin versus Omega, like both of them are extremely talented players. I don't really think we have an edge over them on anything, but I don't really think they have an edge over us. So Ooh. I think it's pretty much who shows up that day to who plays better. Like, they can take games off of us, we can take games off of them. It's going to be extremely close. H how important are picks and bans? Because a, a lot of times, especially in best of fives, you'll see kind of metas developed. Mm -hmm. uh, against Cog, you had that one set strategy where it's, are right, you banning Ares, we're banning Hell, and then banning, like, Jing mm -hmm. in the third pick. I is that something, I obviously you're not going to, like, tell me fully, is that something that was just specific against Cog? Uh, mm -hmm. Or do you feel like there's going to be a meta develop? Like you had against Eager at the Cog Imitational where you mm -hmm. started banning Naja in the middle of the set. I, that entire set was just our game plan for COG, 100%. Mm -hmm. We didn't really, like, we're not so hiding stuff. I guess that sounds weird, because we're picking what's best for the situation. Mm -hmm. Every game's okay. different, every pick's and You don't have a different. particular strategy that you're planning beforehand, yeah, like, like COG was with Anubis. Nemesis. Like, we know what's good. Oh, Soul's good. Zeus is good. Like, it's just, you're de adapting for every pick's and bands. Obviously, the areas in Hell were focused on... Uh, best and Aurora because mm -hmm. Aurora's a godlike Ares player and we don't want any cheese to happen like worlds. I mean you guys definitely you don't want any cheese to happen. The fear of Ares, the PTSD mm -hmm. going on to like no no more game five, no more game the five. The thing was is like we thought we could handle Ares, but on land anything happens. Once you start getting pressured by Ares, it's like can we contest this? Can we contest this? And again, best is a really good hell. Aurora's an amazing Ares player, so we just had to respect those two picks completely. Well, congratulations on your win. We'll see you again on Thursday up against Eager. And guys, tomorrow we're going to take a check at the uh, bracket that we're looking at for tomorrow. It is going to be the EU Day. We heard the uh, European cries, and we're starting it at <laughs> 9 a.m. EST. That is 3 p.m. CET? Yes. Okay. I was... I was wrong before. That's what we so were told. There are the brackets up on the screen, everyone. It is going to be an exciting day. Hopefully, we'll have some uh, NA players up on the uh, analyst desk where they'll be joining us. And what do you guys think we're going to see tomorrow? Do you think we're going to see the big upset like we saw today with Enemy? Or but is it going to be more standard? I, I don't think Titan versus LC is an upset either way it goes. Uh, honestly, a lot of people are talking about, like, maybe LC will upset Titan. And then people realize that London Conspiracy is actually the four seed. Which is, like, I mean, it's only by, like, one game. <laughs> yeah. But it's still, like, London Conspiracy has been that team that's been the team right below the top four of Europe. But Titan has taken their fall. Their fourth seed, uh, Titan's fifth. That could go either way. I'm looking at Paradigm versus Dignitas. That's Paradigm's game to lose. Barracuda, actually, I want to know your opinion on it. How do you think the games are going to go tomorrow? I got to cheer for my boys. Titan and Paradigm. I don't really study. We're not really studying that much European gameplay at the moment, so... I'm just really good friends with both teams, and mm -hmm. I just really want them to win. 
Anatoly, do you agree? Yeah, I think Time versus London Conspiracy, like Adon said, could go either way. I'm kind of leaning more towards London Conspiracy, actually, and I think, obviously, Paradigm should easily snowball against Ding Toss. Well, we'll find out tomorrow, everyone, starting at 9 a.m. EST. My name is Kelly, Anatoly, Adonis, and Barracuda joining us right now. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow here on twitch.tv slash smite. Star that just a trend Will I become the nothingness that you will call your friend? If not, I think I'll play this game again. Cause I remember when you said it's the smartest way if all we stay. Stay as friends